I got to make a couple of springs today and I thought I would show you how I do that. This is uh, a spring winding device that I made in the video that came out right before this one. And it just mounts in a quick change tool post holder like that. We'll put that on the lathe here in just a minute. Now in order to wind springs, you're going to need some spring steel or music wire, which is what this is called. This came from McMaster Car. This particular is um, it's 031, so it's 31 thousandths diameter. That's the wire right there. And so you feed that up in through there and then you wrap it around a mandrel. Now the mandrels, this is what I use normally for mandrels. They're center punches, you know, that you put them down and it gets, you find the diameter that fits in the hole and then you smack it and it gives you um, a center point in that, inside of that hole. So that's what I usually use for my mandrels. I rarely do a spring that has to be an exact size. And you can also use uh, the shanks of drill bits and things like that. So these are really convenient for me, but they don't have a hole in them. And a lot of people, when they use a mandrel, they drill a hole in it and then you drop the wire in there. And then when you start winding it, it holds it for you. I'll show you how I get them started on the chuck of my lathe. For the one we're doing today, the mandrel is uh, 233 thousandths. And the spring that we turn comes out to be right at 300. So it's like 70 thousandths bigger. I'll put a link to the calculator in the description in case you're interested. Now you don't have to, I, I'm using a lathe to wind these, but uh, you can do it by hand, but then you've got to somehow, you know, time out how far apart you're going to put the coils. So we'll show you. All right, so today we're going to make a compression spring like this. You can also make just normal springs, you know, like that. It just depends. This is just going to get wound right up next to itself. And this one, you're going to need a lathe or something in order to set this so that these are coming out spaced the same apart. All right, so let's get over to the lathe and we'll get started. All right, so I've got this spring winding device that I made. And I've got a separate video on how I made this. It's pretty easy. It's just a piece of... Uh, stainless steel brake line and some half inch steel that I put in a holder here, but it gets it nice and close to your mandrel. You can see the music wire loaded up in there. All right, now to load the wire, what we're gonna do is just run it up through your tubing there. And then what I do is I don't use mandrels with holes in them because I don't have mandrels for doing um, springs. I use whatever I have. Like I showed you, this is, a center punch, uh, you know, for all different sizes. You can also use drill bits and stuff like that, or the shanks of drill bits. So what I normally do is, if your chuck has this, like mine's got these little grooves in the jaws, and so I can take it and thread it through that jaw right there, and then give it a, a steep, steep bend like that. And then I'm ready to go. So I'm going to pull this over and get it right up against the jaw pretty much. Advance it like that. Okay, now we're going to turn this by hand. So here we go. And you can see how that, that wire is caught right there. It went through a little groove underneath there in this jaw and now it's coming out this side and that'll hold it really well. Okay, so I'm going to make a flat spot on the spring right here. Go around about two and a half times because usually when I trim it, I'll lose about half of that and I want about two turns. Now, I'm gonna engage the half nut and I have my lathe set up. I want uh, seven coils per inch. So it's set at seven threads per inch, basically. And here I go, I'm gonna keep turning. And you can see it's starting to advance. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm going to go a little more, and now I'm going to disengage the half nut, and I'm going to do my flat on this end. 
All right, then when I finished off the end of my spring, I'm just gonna back this off a little bit. Take my nippers, and you're gonna watch this spring's gonna jump. You can see it's quite a bit bigger now than the mandrel. All right, so now then to get my spring off, I just gotta loosen those jaws so I can get that wire out. And then there's my spring, and I'm just gonna take my trimmers, and I'm gonna trim these ends off. Watch your eyes when you're doing this. All right, and there's the finished spring. All right, well, I hope this was interesting to you. Thank you for watching.